Hey, how's it going guys? It's Shut Door or Door Shut to come back to you with a brand new series that we're starting alongside our current playthrough of A Step Back, but we're playing all of Fabric 6. This is a Fabric mod pack, and unlike a live stream, we're doing this in episodes. And uh, let's get into this. I'm not 100% sure. I know there's like 300 plus mods. I added one. Um, it's not really that important, but it is Botany Pots, um, Tears. Just added that because I felt like it, and that's all I added. Um, we're kind of going in this, basic, generic. We're gonna see what happens, and I'm excited. Alrighty. So, of course, hard mode. Uh, we don't care about game rules. Let's see, more world options. What do we got? Anything super fancy? Okay, so we'll just do default done hard uh, i think that's it right so i'll just say lp uh more world options let's uh, put a c let's just do shut door might as well all right and uh let's create a new world let's see what we can get ourselves into i'll be right back when we spawn in all righty we are in here and we have a uh simply swords book oh okay we've got some stuff starting up here We've got some, like, ambient noises as well. I'm not 100% sure if I like the ambient noises, but we're going to go with it. And, uh, all right, let's get a little bit of lag spikes here. Looks like we're kind of struggling with FPS a little. Let me, uh, let me look at something. All righty, let's get into this. Quickly just changed up my render distance and a few other things, but we're going to mine this tree that we're standing in. And hopefully, okay, so we have Ultimine. That's going to hurt a little bit, but that's all right. All right, what is this book? Okay, and I don't know what mod is making the noises. Kind of having, like, some little difficulties here. Let me... Okay, there we go. I fixed it, and we are going... Did I not pick up anything from that tree? What tree was it? Was it this one? Oh, why did I just get an advancement? Okay, there's the wood. Perfect. All right. But what was that advancement? I'm so confused. I've got whisper wood. Or no, what is this? Bewitchment? All right. Bewitchment plus. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what's happening. All right, anyway, let's just get into this. Let's try and find a biome that's suitable. We got something down here. Looks like we got something down here as well. All right. And of course, we are in 1.19.2, I do believe. Let's double check that. Yes, 1.19.2. We got some sweet berries. Let's take these. Without taking damage here. And hopefully, oh, we can uh, kind of figure out some stuff here. Let's actually grab a boat. That's not a terrible idea. All right. I'm seeing we're using REI, which is fantastic. All right, we got an axe. Let's make up a boat. All right, so spruce boat. Let's pick this up here. And let's uh, let's let's sail away for a little bit. Let's see what we can find. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go to the opposite side of this. But that just makes it a little faster. Anything with the boats a little bit faster. So all right. And we also have a quest book as well. Uh, all of the goodies. Of course, this is more kind of like a little bit of a spoiler. This chapter will introduce you to the basics of the pack. Challenges, learning mods, adventuring. All right, we get a baby backpack. All right, I'm fine with that. And I think we can equip this, can't we? And then press B to open it. It's a very, very small backpack, but I think that's actually really cool. What is up with this? Tech Reborn Rubber Logs. Okay. So we've got like an IC2 kind of inspired mod here. Um, nature compass, if we wanted that, 
uh, running thousands of blocks for your favorite biome. So it just kind of gives you an easy option if you wanted to do that. Carrot mode. Through eating diverse foods, you unlock more hearts. Oh, we have that mod in here. Okay, let's take that. Let's take the carrot carp. Uh, Art of combat. So this does, we have like combat plus in here, I did see that. Hold to attack, the hot key to spam attacks on cooldown, dual wield any combination, weapon combos, natural look and feel. Alright, some just basic information. We have Traveler's Backpack. Don't be a tourist, be a traveler. The Traveler's Backpack can provide 45 inventory slots and two fluid tanks which can store up to four buckets of fluid or even 16 bottles of potions. All inventory slots and tanks can be accessed via external pipes. The backpack also provides special buttons, sort, quick stack, and transfer. Traveler's Backpack is actually one of my least favorites. I'm going to say that right away because I have messed with it in the uh, Legends of the Eye pack. Excavate is by default bound to the grave key. You can change this. Okay. Uh, recipe wizardry. Recipe is a story that ends with a good meal. How to use an item. Hover. Okay, so this is just basic um, REI stuff. All right. Just good information to know, right? Mods are split into four categories. Tech, magic, utilities, logistics. Uh, each chapter will guide you through them. Fantastic. And then, of course, nature's compass. If you don't know how to use the nature's compass, we can actually quickly look. I actually want to find a plains biome. Like, I want to settle down in a plains biome. So let's see. So we're 800 blocks away. Well, let's uh, let's figure that out. Looks like we actually got something here. Can we... Well, let's actually steal this if we can. I'm not 100% sure if there's like hostile mobs or anything in here. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna let myself in here. So if we've got a loom... I'm kinda scared that I'm gonna like just get attacked here. Some bone meal, perfect. Flower pot. Crafting table. Couple more barrels with goodies in it. Hope we got hex in here, that's good to know. I genuinely have no idea what half of this stuff is, but we are getting a lot of a lot of noises. Man, I'm hearing so many things. I don't know if I like how many things I'm hearing all at once. It's kind of like overwhelming. <laughs> Yeah, the advancement thing is kind of strange, having like that double up a little. All right, let's uh, place this down. We need a pickaxe. So we're just gonna grab a stone pickaxe. And I think for right now we can toss these books and this nature's compass. Actually, I guess the nature's compass can stay right there. Uh, We got bread, let's throw those away. Can we steal these things as well? Remember, shift click when you're trying to break looter barrels because they are required to be broken that way. You will not pick them up otherwise, you'll just get a block of text. Uh, deep slate, brick, waystone. Okay. No idea how that works. We also already have iron. I don't really need the potion. We got a normal compass. I think we'll take that. Oh, we've got some sort of mod adding. Does that have energy stored in it? That's a little weird. All right. Not a hundred percent sure about that, but uh, that's kind of like our first structure toured and explored here. Uh, we got anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's get out of here. Um, Plains biome, right? That's where we're headed. We're going to just go in this direction. Kind of uh, explore together, right? I'm not going to cut too, too much out of this first episode. Because it's kind of exploring this. Of course, you can see we have, oh, the biomes you'll go. I'm assuming which is the uh, biomes mod in here. What is this? Croptopia. Okay. Yeah, so you can see all oh, the biomes you'll go. Looks like we've got maybe bauxite. Is that what this is? No. Lignite coal ore. All right, so we've got a different variation of coal. I've got a rubber sapling. 
Um, let's get rid of, oop, I got a uh, book for some reason. I'm kind of thinking the brown mushroom. Actually, can we eat this, this, uh, carrot carp, carrot fish thing? All right, let's go up here. Let's keep going towards that plains biome. Oh, what is that? geode of some sort and there's like a moth or something up here like a giant moth well, let's go check this out looks like we've got some interesting ores up there maybe some rubies and sapphires kind of look like that what what is this block of topaz all right let's uh let's quickly mark that topaz huh Looks like we may have got a ruined portal over in this direction. Definitely some interesting structures so far. I'm going to say that right away. Uh, looks like we got a, a mod that adds a different um, textures to the pigs and sheep and cows. Uh, maybe not the sheep, but definitely the pigs. And most likely the cows. Uh, we've got Batania in here with the mystical flowers. Yeah, so sheep are normal. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, rare Golden Sword, Novice Wand, from a mod called Wizards. Uh, you're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Alright, anyway. Let's see. Let's get rid of the stripped logs. I'm, I'm so confused what's up with the total energy stored. I really am. That is different. Um, I think I'm going to toss the sweet berries in here. I'm going to grab this novice wand. What does this do? Missing fire rune. Okay, so we've got runes and stuff. That's new. We've got golden nuggets. Okay. I kind of want to take this stuff, but I don't have enough room for it. So let's just say portal ruin. All right, and let's quickly get down a crafting table. I don't I left my crafting table apparently. All right, let's go to sleep here. Actually, can I make a sleeping bag? Uh, at comforts. All right, I'm going to have to add comforts because I know it's a fabric mod. But for now, I'll just sleep normally, even though it's completely and utterly ridiculous that we don't have comforts. Comforts is one of those mods that I think should just be in every mod pack. That's just my personal opinion, though. All right. So let's also quickly make up an axe. Uh, and let's just get rid of this one piece of wool. Actually, I don't want that. So that's fine. And we'll make another crafting table if we need to. All right, planes biome. We're, we're still heading. Just getting distracted on the way. All right, so it looks like we're going to hit a whole bunch of water, which is a good thing because that means we won't have to cover as much ground. All right, let's try and jump here. What kind of stuff we got? Cucumber? So I'm assuming it just adds a whole lot of different crops. Kind of like Pam's Harvest Craft, but I would assume not a whole lot of trees. Just crops. Ooh, these look beautiful. Bushier flowers. Ooh, I love this. This is actually kind of aesthetic. This is actually pretty nifty. I love, like, I love taking vanilla concepts and making them better. Like poppies, why not a whole bunch in one area like that's fantastic great idea whoever thought of that also i have what is this almond okay so they do add trees i was wrong cashews okay cashews have to give you poison they do not if you do not know raw cashews are actually poisonous to humans just so you know never eat a raw cashew they have to actually be boiled and a whole bunch of other stuff to make them non-poisonous. So I'm kind of disappointed that you can just pick up a cashew and eat it. But, you know, the more you know, right? And it is actually a, a real thing. Just look it up. <laughs> and peanuts, I don't think, are actual nuts. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that's the, one, the only one that I know. Okay, so we've got seashells from the seashore. Can I, like... Oh, I just break them? What are these for? I can make a sand castle? Score? 
All right, and they can just be placed back. There's like palm trees and stuff. Man, I'm loving the actual generation and stuff in this one. This is actually kind of interesting. It keeps your eyes open. There's just new stuff to look at everywhere. Uh, looks like we've got oil over there. What in the world? All right, we're turning. We are turning here. Look at this crazy generation. Holy cow, that is high. That is up there. Look at this. You got like this little tiny one here. Man, that is cool. All right, we're still going for the plains biome. Though the oil is kind of weird because you can see through it. I'm not used to being like able to see through oil. Always, it's always like a thick black uh, liquid. See, man, that is nuts. Absolutely crazy. We got like sweet potato. Oh, you know where I have to go with this. If we got sweet potatoes, boo boo, we are taking the sweet potatoes. Do I have to have seeds for sweet potatoes? Why can't I just plant the sweet potato? Okay, I'm going to eat the sweet potato. And then I'm going to take the sweet potato seeds with me so I can make a sweet potato farm. Ooh, there's. Ooh, I forgot vinery is in here. You've got grapes and like stuff. I think you can make wine and things like that as well. Very, very interesting. And we're also in a plains biome. So we have found the biome I want to settle in. And there is a different, that is a strange looking cow. Hello, cow. You are very strange looking, but uh, that is okay. Ooh, there's a skeleton horse just like wandering. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, this plains biome might be out of the options. Oh, a gold great axe, huh? Huh. I'm so confused by this, but that's okay. So we've got a mod called The Graveyard. At The Graveyard. Okay, so it looks maybe like a cosmetic mod. But we do have a skeleton horse. Interesting. And a pit of lava? On the surface. Oh, that sheep looks a little funny. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks a little odd. A little standout-ish. Oh, what does this one look like? Hold on, I saw his face. Yep, they look a little weird. I don't like the sheep ones. They kind of look a little funky. But that's alright. Okay, so we're probably gonna go this direction. Is that a peach tree? It is a peach tree. Just peachy, isn't it? Let's see what's over here. We got ice spikes. I would love to probably settle down over in this direction. I mean, close to the ice is not terrible. Oh, we actually got a village. Fantastic. A base that we don't have to make. This is in the plains biome, I think, but that's okay. Ooh, some mod made these look nice. Look at all those flowers. All the rose bushes. Hello. You got shears and wool. Awesome. What do you got in here? I ain't really like taking a whole lot of stuff right now. I don't have a lot of room to take stuff. What kind of seed was that? Tomato? Okay, so we have Farmer's Delight in here. We're kind of getting information. That's 100% what we're doing as well. Getting an information, seeing what mods are in here. And uh, going from there, I think, that's probably not a bad idea. It looks like we've got, like, town guards and stuff. Here's the waystones. Ooh, this looks a little interesting as well. Looks like we'll be using XP. Oh, we got cows. Let's keep those in there. I'm just organizing your chest, seeing what you guys got. Nothing I really need right now, because my inventory is so full. But I kind of want to steal a house. Maybe build my own house around the village and then build a wall. Build a nice wall around it. Get some torches and stuff. Well, you've got... You're like a Farmer's Delight one. Interesting. Got anything in the smoker? No? Grab some more bread here. Bread no bur never hurt nobody. I think I want to kind of uh, build my own. Maybe like right here on the water. 
You know, let's quickly like make a little humble abode or something. We got a little bit, right? So I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be doing in this pack. Gonna be honest with you. I genuinely kind of just wanted to play Fabric. I've been playing with it on Legend of the Eyes, and I was thinking, why not? Why not, huh? Sounds like a great idea to me, and I think we'll uh, we'll have fun with it. I really do. All right, so we're gonna probably make a house that doesn't look like any of the other ones, but that's okay. We're gonna kind of just build a little walkway, and uh, we're gonna go out one, two, and then come out this way a little bit here. And then we're gonna go one, two, this direction. Build a nice little flat platform. It's not gonna be a very big house. We'll probably make a bigger house in the future. But, you know, for now, anything will work. Who knows, maybe we'll just like branch out underground again. Kind of always happens in these packs. All right, let's kind of fill in the center here. There we go. Definitely picked up enough spruce logs for this too, so that's a good thing. All right. Then of course we want to build one, two, three, Three, that sounds good. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And what do we want to put around? I don't really have cobblestone or anything, so, you know. Uh, let's go for just a little bit of dark oak planks. Doesn't sound terrible to me. Kind of mix up the wood types a little bit here. Like a dark, nice little floorboard. There we go. Fantastic. Let's just convert the rest of this. We might not have enough of these, though. Or maybe we might just have just enough. Just enough. Perfect. Let's get some of these barrels down. Let's clear out our inventory a little bit here. Kind of just dump everything for a minute. Let's place our bed down right here. Hello, neighbor. How you doing? Oh, you became a fisherman because I placed barrels. That's okay. Pretty nifty. Uh, we also kind of need to get a roof on this. But we're going to set our spawn here. Let's uh, grab a crafting table. Am I hearing a duck? Is that a duck? It is a duck. From duckling. Oh, how adorable. It adds duck legs. How gruesome. And a fruitcake. Hello. I pet a duck. I am... Okay, that's the end of the pack, guys. One episode. We've completed everything we need to do. Literally everything. Alright? Let's just, you know... No, alright. Let's go to sleep here, and uh, I think what we'll want to do is get a roof on here, and then I think we can wrap up the first episode. We've kind of got our base a little bit set up. You know, nothing too, too fancy. Definitely going to need some glass, uh, but I think I want to start kind of fortifying it. I, th I think for this pack, I'm going to go a little different. I'm going to stay quite close to vanilla for a little bit. Um... I think we're going to kind of build up our chest storage and and everything like that. And I think we're just going to chill for a little while. Work our way up by getting materials, new ores, everything like that. But kind of keep it basic. I don't want to jump into too many mods in the beginning. I know that's a lot of people's like big idea, right? That's kind of the point of it. But I think I want to take it slow. I know that kind of sounds like me wanting to drag this series out, but honestly, I kind of want to just take some time and be able to absorb some mods, right? Be able to understand fabric just a little bit more. 
I haven't been able to do that. And I think with this series, I want to just take it slow. Why not? I haven't done it in a while. I don't think I've ever actually taken it slow on a mod pack and kind of just gathered, right? Like, actually gathered information and looked at new things in depth. I want to kind of, I want to kind of do that, right? I mean, we've got quite a few mods in here that I've never played with, of course, because this is fabric. And Legend of the Eyes only has a limited number of mods. So I think there's a lot for us to get into. And uh, I, I genuinely cannot wait for what lies ahead. I think this is going to be new. And uh, very, very exciting. I, I'm, I'm just genuinely excited. I, I don't think I've said that in a while. About anything. I know I've said that in a step back, but that's Forge. You know, I've never said that about a fabric pack. And, uh... I'm excited for what this what the future of this channel is as well. You know, I... I've been looking a lot at the numbers, and... Of course, you know, numbers aren't everything. Remember that. Numbers are not everything. But, uh... You know, it has been slow with the numbers. And I won't lie... Playing the Direwolf 20 packs and stuff like that have increased a lot of my, you know, subscribers and view count and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, not everything matters. You know, not everything like that matters. And uh, I'm just super excited to play something that I want to play. Such as a step back and this pack. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay awesome. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye